What's happening, people? I go by the name of D-Boy Dial. Me, myself, Mansour Bello. And it's Come Shop Fridays. We've got a special, special guest. Amazing lady, queen of everything. Mm. She's here with us. She goes by the name of Tiwa Savage. <laughs> How are you today? How are you guys? I'm sure you guys do this to all your guests. No, 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 never, never. No, I've, I've seen all your shows. No, only, no, no, no. You. only you. Only you. <laughs> only you. <laughs> now, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. How are you doing anyway? How, how have you been recently? I'm blessed. I'm good. I'm, um, good. Yeah, I'm good. Working, but I'm good. Just before we get into it, how has Corona affected the artistry and the craftsmanship of what you do? Has it, has it slowed you down? Has it been a blessing? Has it, has it been a mixture of both? I don't want to say it's a blessing because it's, I don't think anybody wants to go through this again. Yeah. But um, for me, I've been able to spend more time with my son. Um, so that's the blessing in disguise, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's allowed me to also rest as well. I feel like as artists or creatives, like we're always on the move. So if not for this lockdown, I probably would have been on tour. I released an album, so I've been doing like, you know, PR and promo runs. So. Um, I was able to get a lot of rest um, and I've gained weight because of that. So I'm going to have to get back in the gym. <laughs> but um, most importantly, me spending time with my son has been the ultimate blessing in this. I mean, speaking about your son, um, how um, have you got him into the creative world? Have you, have you, have you given him a... <laughs> like, nope. Or he's like not interested in music nope. at all? He has like a good ear for like keys and like notes and stuff. So, and I'm just like... Oh my God, please. I want you to play football or something <laughs> like, um, but he, cause he's around me a lot. Like when I'm recording, um, so he's picked up just naturally. His ear is just really, really sharp. Um, to be honest, if that's his God given talent, I'm going to support him a thousand percent, but I'd rather it wasn't. <laughs> Amazing body of work you've put out, Celia. Really loving that one. Um, is your mom's name really Celia? Yeah, it is actually. Oh, that's, that's her first name. Government, government on the passport, everything. Celia Savage. <laughs> that does that sounds like a straight cut or your name. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> Was an amazing name. I mean, talk to us about this album. Um, I heard you recorded it actually in three. Oh, sorry, you wrote it in three different countries: uh, Lagos, London, and LA. Um, talk to us about the creative process of putting it together. Well, to be honest, I'd say 90% of it was done in Lagos. So we rented a hotel, Oriental Hotel, for like two weeks. And we rented like eight rooms all on the same floor. And we just had different producers. So it was really a writing camp. And we had like different producers, like songwriters, day in, day out. I've never done anything like that. It was incredible. Like, it, it was just magical. Like, it wasn't, it didn't feel like work. It just felt like. I was working with my friends and creating just, I don't know, just vibe. So that was really, that was really special for me. Any videos we can expect from the album? Obviously, any, any ones you can... Exclusive for you guys. I'm shooting tomorrow. I'm yeah. shooting Pop 12 featuring David tomorrow. And um, I'm also shooting Ole with Naira Marley. Oh, wow. And i um, shooting the one with Sam Smith, obviously. I'm coming to London for that. And um, the one with Steph London as well, and Dice. So I have like you mentioned six, all seven albums. A lot of heavyweights there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we saw the Coral Bar video. Um, absolutely dope. Really, really big. Um, and when you do videos, I, I, you know, I feel like you put a lot of thought process into like what you're trying to deliver and the messages. Um, do you have a team that special like that is just focused on just like the visual, visual production of what you do? Yeah, I do. I'm not going to say I don't. I definitely have a team of people who know that creatives and visuals are really important for me, especially, especially like when we did 49.99. The no. visuals for that are really, really important. And then from there, it's just like people expect, you know, dope visuals. And so we've just been able to just like, just create. And everyone, like people who work with me know that I'm really, really passionate about art, not just the music, but just like putting art together and like just I'm also very, very honored that everyone on my team is Nigerian. Yeah, and I, I really want to showcase that to the world. Like Africa has so, so much talent. We're so creative. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's really important. Like visuals are really important. As, as important as the music, actually. Absolutely. Are we breaking any more records this year? Because you're, you're always, you always seem to be raising the bar, always seem to be doing something new. Is there, any, is there anything else we can expect? And also, please give me your prayer points because I need to tap into them <laughs> kind of prayers that you're saying. Because the way you're... 
I just use you as a point of contact <laughs> right now, God. I use T as a point of contact. <laughs> any, 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 any other announcements? Any groundbreaking things happening? Um, I don't know. Well, I'm already working on my next project. So we're ready. You're working, working. Yeah, yeah. I'm already you just working. put Celia out. I know, but you know, you know, like when you're signed to a label, like an international label, it's, mm -hmm. it, you don't just record and then put it out next month. That's what I realized with Celia. It's like, it takes months of them plugging it to DSPs yeah. and getting approval and this date and that day. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that again with you guys. I'm going to record my album. I'm going to start um, recording. And for me also, maybe because we're just at home doing nothing, I'm just like, yeah, I might as well just be recording because during the lockdown, like mentally I went through a lot just, and I saw people going through a lot as well. So I want to, I want to definitely put that into music. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Um, I got to ask you, um, Keys to the Kingdom, like what was that experience like? That's like our African queen mm -hmm. with the American African queen what was that like? Did you actually get to, to sorry? It's more like princess. <laughs> well, no, no, no. To our, you, you are, to our just, just, just collect it. Yeah, take, you are, you are queen. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Please, uh, you are, are queen. queen. Uh -uh. Okay, uh -huh. mm -hmm. so one queen to another queen. What was that experience like, man? First of all, let me tell you, like, I, we got an email and my manager forwarded it to me that, oh, Beyonce is working on a project and she wants you in it. And, I guarantee you, I thought it was fake. So I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> and then like, you know how in the industry, you like, had this person said they got an email from, I was like, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> I said, please respond, respond. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was on the plane the next day to wow. LA. I was like, what? This is amazing. I didn't even know how big the project was going to be like when we got the email. And for that particular song, because I'd heard Brown Skin Girl and I know it was like to empower like, you know, women of color. And so I wanted to do something to empower our men. Like, yeah. you know, because Lion King is, you know, about Simba being, you know, like elevated to being the king. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, black or African men get this rep just outside of Africa of being Juju419, Yoruba yeah. demons, all this like bad names. And I'm like, and I have a son and I don't want him to have that kind of reputation. So I wanted to do a song um to celebrate african men so that's what it's a kingdom is like oh we appreciate it <laughs> thank you thank sorry you. we appreciate you yeah <laughs> um want to go in uh, next into your um your project that you worked on um over the last couple of uh, couple of years if you had to put all your projects together what one would you say um, has been the best for you? Every time I ask artists, they're, they're, they're quite reluctant to answer this question, but what one would you say has been like the best, has done the most numbers, or maybe not numbers, but has been the most exciting for you to work on? Are you serious? I can't. Yes, I mean, I'm serious. I mean, I mean, Celia has definitely done way more numbers than yeah. any of my other projects. Um, yeah. And I just think that that's just growth. Um, I, I'm, I, I don't want to choose, but I will say this album. One, because it's still recent. Two, I was very um, vulnerable and open on this album than I, than I have ever been. Yeah. Uh, this was my first international um, album. So it's, it's also very groundbreaking for me. So. Yeah. I want to know, how do you stay motivated? Someone that's been there, you've done that. Does, you know, you've got the accolades, you've worked with Beyonce. Even me, if I work with Beyonce, that's it, I'm done. I even say, God, I'm ready to die. I'm, I'm finished. How do you stay motivated and say, you know what, I still need to rise the bar, still need to rise the bar. What, what, what is it about Tiwa Savage that says, yo, I, I need it's to keep like, going. I mean, it's, it might sound cheesy because you guys, you know, we're on Zoom right now, but it's moments like this where I still get requested. People want to interview me. People want to um, book me for shows. People want to collaborate with me. It's like, how, how can I not be motivated when I'm getting so much love from you know, fans as well. Like they're already asking me, when is the next project? When is the next next video? Yeah. Um, you know, so I don't I don't take it for granted because you know there are other artists that people aren't really asking like you know what's going on. Like when are we going to hear from you again? So for me, it's like while this is still happening, I just I want to enjoy the moment, and that just means that there, there's so much more that God has in store for me that I just I haven't even finished what I've started. So amazing. Really, what just want to thank you for what you're doing in the industry as a strong black woman. You know, rising the bars, Mansoor mm -hmm. said, 
and just encouraging all other people who want to get to that level to do better. So we thank you and we appreciate you, man. Me, before I go, I just have two requests. I've got two propositions for you. <laughs> the first one is... Sa oh, it's just two. No, just two propositions. <laughs> it's just two. Savage side. During Corona, you was giving us some, you know, raunchy tips or, you know, bedroom things <laughs> and, you know, what happens, what goes down. So I'm True. thinking we should have a, either a book called Savage Side by you, which is, you know, where you, you know, you give people tips on, you know, <laughs> you know, because it, it was very informative I, and it was good. I don't know if I'm the one to give anyone tips on anything, first of all, but I think, but I am, I, I think I should do a podcast. Yeah, Savage Side, definitely. And, you know, we get them kind of things going on. And the second one is, please, any of these music videos, if you're looking for a male lead, I'm your guy. <laughs> I'm in the gym right he's now. A, he's actually not joking. No, we've reached out to you a few times. You're too expensive. No, listen, I'm saying it now for free. I'm cheap. <laughs> Take me. Whatever you need me to do, I'm there. To, like, it's going to be a bit risque. Like, would you wear a thong? Oh, listen, anything for you. <laughs> Uh, anything this for is, you. This is on tape, on record, <laughs> e e Even on the string, right, T W A S A V I C H. Yeah. <laughs> think you can this drop is me, on yeah? tape. Huh. Listen, <laughs> anything for you, baby, it's done. Even the hair around my nipple, I'll cut it. <laughs> it's fine. We're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nah, Tiwa, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate you.